Hi guys, today we are going to discuss a very nice feature that has been added in Power BI from the March 2020 release, which is called page navigation. Now, I would not say that this feature was not there in Power BI earlier. It's just that to achieve this particular thing, you had to take a couple of uh, more steps by, you know, adding a button to your visualization and then adding a bookmark to that button. Then it used to allow a, a, a page navigation into Power BI. But after the new update of March 2020, uh, with just a few fewer clicks in uh, your desktop, you are able to navigate from one sheet to another. So let's shift to Power BI and see what I exactly mean. This is my Power BI desktop where I have, uh, you know, created some of the visualizations and I'm using a superstore data over here. So uh, I have a couple of visualizations that I have pre-designed. Uh, so not very complicated ones. It's just few drags and drops that I have done. But now what I want is, this is going to be my landing page. And I want to add a couple of buttons over here so that uh, it would help my end user to land up to a particular page that that would give them a precise information about this visualization right so i don't want my end user to toggle between each of these sheets over here but if they click on trend of sales they should directly land up to this page and if they click on metrics table they should land up to this page so let's see how it works this is the page where i want to add the buttons and we have to go ahead and as you can see there's a, a you know bit of a change in the look in the feel of the latest uh, power bi uh, update that has happened so if you're not updated your power bi you can go ahead and update it uh, i have added one of the buttons over here here i go and I want to add another button. So it's just a normal control C and a control V that I'm going to do over here so that the exact size is uh, kind of, you know, copy pasted. Now, now I have two buttons through which my end user is going to toggle between the visualizations. I go to one of these visualizations and uh, in uh, these uh, buttons and here under visualization you have action. Make sure the action is on and the type of the action that I want to add now is the page navigation. So these are the two new features that have been added. The drill through is uh, still in the preview mode. So I'm going to talk about drill through in the upcoming videos. But right now what we are interested in is page navigation. So I'm going to click on page navigation. And here in destination, it will give you the list of all the visualizations, the reports that you have in a particular workbook so i want them to be on trend of sales the tooltip that i can add over here is click to see the trend this is uh, this is what i want to show them when i hover like this and i want uh you know um to have some uh, words over here rather than a blank uh, uh, this. So that can be added from, so I'm going to first add a border over here with a radius of say five so that it looks a little decent. And from the bottom text, I can just add at a default step, uh, text I can add uh, the trend of sales I can give it a font color not wasting a lot of time in the formatting and 
and I can give it like this. And so I have a trend of sales and I can say click on the trend to see the uh, this. Also, I had in the action, I had mentioned, just go ahead and open action once more for you. So in the action, I had mentioned the destination as the trend of sales. So now when I control and click on this button, it's going to automatically land up on this page. And now I can interact with this however I want to. So for a particular category, for a particular subcategory, if I want to see the monthly trend, this is how it goes. I have added another button to which I'm going to quickly repeat the steps. So in case if you have missed out anything, you will be able to see that. So the button text uh, could be, uh, for me, it's, it could be a yearly metrics table. And I'm going to quickly do the formatting of this to say 14 and the font family i can pick up any font family so there i go the next thing i want to do is turn my borders on for the box so that it looks nice and presentable and finally i want to add the action so we turn the action on the type of the action is going to be page navigation and the destination of this page navigation is going to be my metrics table if you want any tooltip action you can add the tooltip uh, caption over here if you don't want the tooltip caption then this is how you get it i always prefer adding a tooltip caption over here so i'm going to write it as click to see the yearly metrics table and the C has to be with a small s. There you go. So this is how it's going to appear. Right? Let's see whether it works or not. So all you have to do is hover over the button and you control click and this is where you land up so a very nice feature in power bi very efficient for letting your users uh, you know see the drill down so earlier you had uh, just a drill down option or you could bookmark it and um, some of my clients were finding it a little difficult to you know navigate uh, through the visualization through a drill down because until they hover over a visualization they didn't know that there's an action here but um, this is something that is really going to be helpful uh, so hope you like the video subscribe to further you know see the updates and the videos that we have thank you